All right, so in our previous video, we've set up protected content. So we're hiding pages based on the membership level. Now I want to show you something. I've added code overrides to this template. In order to hide content based on the user logged in or logged out status. If you go to assets, you can see I have two code overrides. With data logged in, is used to show something if someone is logged in. With data logged out, is used to only show something if someone is logged out. So you see this view plans button. Let's say someone is logged in, okay? Instead of this button, we want to show them a go to dashboard button. So in this case, I'll duplicate this button, okay? I'll change the second button to go to dashboard, okay? And in this case, I'll link it to my dashboard. And now we have two buttons, right? I'm going to apply two code overrides. See, you go to code overrides, click this button. Now we have to with data logged in and logged out. I'm going to apply with data logged out, override, okay. Okay, so this, this is being applied to the view plan. Now select the go to dashboard, code overrides, and select with data logged in. So if we are logged in, we'll show this and hide this. Don't forget to select the override, okay? And publish. Now, if we're logged in, we will see go to dashboard. If we log out, we'll see a view plan. This is very powerful. You can add it to any element on your page. So let's refresh. Our button has been replaced with go to dashboard since we are already logged in. Okay. Now, if you log out, this will be changed to view plans, is it? So let's log back in. Okay, so this is how you hide and show elements on the page based on the login status. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.